For the record, I'm done trying to make y'all comfortable. For the record, you ain't trying to grow any stuff for you. For the record, live on me going all the way. What's up, Vice Gang? I'm Shine and I'm back with another video. Period. Please do not forget to click on the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I put out a new video. There's not much to be said. Let's get straight into it. So, um, let me tell y'all a little bit of a backstory about me and when it comes to um reality TV and the Christianity, you know, community. Um, I'm using Mac. I already did my eyebrows and I put primer on, so let's get straight into it. Um, so when it a little bit of a backstory, I was always born in a Christian, you know, household. And for me, ever since I was born, I always felt like I should be, you know, born like as a star. Like you ever heard of being the chosen one? I always felt like I was the chosen one out of all my family. And for me, being big means, you know, being on national TV. Now, when I was younger and even till this day, till now, I always liked watching reality tv i was always watching i love watching love and hip-hop i like that you know bad girls club power you know anything with some type of drama or whatever and i've always wanted to be in reality tv however when it came to you know the entertainment industry and you know christianity it kind of like shattered my dreams because you know when it comes to christianity it seems as if like the entertainment industry period people believe oh when the minute you go in the entertainment industry it's always you know illuminati you know you're gonna you're you're just selling your soul for the devil although that do happens but i feel like for a person for me my that was not my motive my motive when it came to reality tv was to not be no pastor or preachers. I like to see the drama and all of that. But my motive was to bring those people of the culture back to Christ. And I do still feel as though, like, sometimes it's not about being, you know, lukewarm. I just feel like sometimes, and don't mind me looking on the side, by the way, because I'm just looking at my mirror. I feel as though sometimes God bring people into the culture so they could bring people back into christ like even it was one example when it came to this stripper right she was in the strip club you know you know dancing for the dollars and stuff like that and then she met with somebody and that person kind of like you know she was that person was like into god and then kind of the stripper it kind of like changed the stripper's whole perception and she ended up you know her whole situation changed around and it was based upon God. She stopped stripping. She used her stripping money to start a business. And then she started doing God's will, which is, and she started helping people and making testimonies. And she, she started, she was even telling people that she felt like God had called her into the strip club and to be in a dark place. Like as a Christian, not everything is going to be, you know, in the light sometimes god you know puts people in the dark so you can you know sometimes god even strips a lot of things from different people so you could just end up going back to him god gave us free will and i didn't want to be you no know, person that you know miss opportunities so with that being said i wanted to be a part of some reality tv i felt like i have the personality for it i felt like i'm very beautiful so it's like why not you know so one of the shows I always dreamt about being, and I'm pretty sure everybody had what at one point thought about being a, a part of Bad Girls Club. I wanted to be a part of Bad Girls Club. So I was just like, so I didn't want to miss any, you know, offers on the table. I had, Natalie was doing um, an appearance for Baddies Blunt um, in Miami during the summer, right? And mind you, I prayed to God about it and everything i told god i was like god i know that you gave us you know free will and stuff like that if you don't want me to be a part of the show you know give me some type of discernment if you don't want to be a, a part of the show but i don't want to be you know those christians that is scared of everything like if and on top of it's a lot of christians that's scared of everything and it's a lot of christians that that, that don't like to take risks and for me i just find that crazy because i, I in my head i'm just like when it comes to having faith, it's all about risk taking. Like these people be putting their trust into rocks. 
and sages and stuff like that and not to disrespect but i'm just like why like the whole point of believing in jesus christ is to have you know faith so I, I was like, I, I'm like, I don't want to be those type of Christians that, you know, don't have faith. I told God, if you don't want me to be a part of this show, reveal it to me while I'm, you know, at the Batty Batty Blunts event. Now, Batty Batty Blunts is, you know, like a little pop-up shop and they go ahead and they smoke. I'm not a smoker, but I wanted to go and to see Natalie and to see, you know, what was up if I can, you know, talk to her. Because number one, this is one of the reasons why god told me one of the, one of the reasons why god showed me not to be a part of that specific show when it came to the auditions i was in new york city i didn't know that the auditions were happening i just know somebody had hit me up and they was like oh why didn't you go to the auditions and i seen i was like they had auditions and i the auditions were somewhere elsewhere that was far away and i was already in new york so i was just like okay I feel like this was probably divine timing that God did not even want me to be a part of it because I was in a whole different city. So I went there, right? And my whole entire time there, it was just basically for the show. There was nobody there. There was not much people there. It was that when they walked in, they came in mad late. It was her, Scotty, and you know, her whole crew and you know, the baddie boys walking in, right? So they all walked in and then the camera's there and then, you know, they have the blunts. Now, I was there, and I, I ain't even gonna lie, I was putting on a show for Laddity. I'm gonna put it right here. I was putting on a show for her because I really wanted to be a part of it. But in a way, after leaving that whole thing, I knew I wasn't, I, I wasn't meant to be a part of that specific show because the vibes were so fake to me. When I saw the vibes, I'm talking about the lifestyle. Everything was just so fake. And then, in a way, I kind of felt like, me putting on a show was kind of like begging Natalie to pick me, to pick me, pick me. And for me, I don't care how much followers you are. I don't care who you are. I'm a child of God. I know who God says I am. I don't got to beg or kiss nobody but to be on nothing. I'm going to shoot my shot, but I'm not begging. And I'm not about to sell myself either. Dealing with God, stuff will come easily. I told God before I got there too, I said, God, if you want me to be a part of this show, you know let make it hard for me like give me some signs and i feel like being a beggar was one of the signs <laughs> i know faith without works is dead but certain things god just blesses you with you don't gotta work too hard for it you know if it's meant for you what's for you is for you so that was the first thing that she showed me that i wasn't he showed me that i was not supposed to be a part of the show the second thing is the fact that natalie made everybody you don't know how many people that probably flew in to go and audition and none of them made it because in her mind she already knew who she wanted to be in the thing so it it was like no point of you know auditioning and smiley smiley is a girl that's a part of the show i met smiley while i was at you know the baddie smoking um the baddie blunts event and smiley is a lit you know individual she she was the one that was calling me out to come dance she was a, she's a very nice person however she was like a groupie in a way she's a groupie because she's not like somebody that's famous yet and she had got natalie you know named tatted you know so of course anybody that will go to that extent natalie's gonna have to be like oh girl you you did all this for me this is crazy it's like kind of like a fan and i'm a strong believer at at the end of the day whatever you want to do whatever you decide to do god gave you fear well you just have to involve god into it and then you know ask for you know discernment and you know his signs the last sign that i seen that made me you know was a confirmation for me not to be on top on a part of the show was Wo vicky and when it came to Wo vicky i don't blame her for being on the show because when i wanted to be on the show i i was on a, i wanted to be part of the show to show people what makes you a baddie is a person a woman of god that is fearless that's not afraid to say that she loves jesus christ that's a boss chick that works out that's a proverbs 31 woman that's about her business that's about all of that i wanted to be you know a living example of that but i was not going to show nobody i'm scary and honestly i don't even think well vicky is scary i just feel like she was trying to you know be an example of jesus christ you know because you know, we're not supposed to be fighting. If somebody was to come and fight me, I was going to show them them hands. Oh! Period. And it kind of 
of left me confused too on why you know Krishan was out of everybody was trying to bully her because she's somebody that loves Jesus too. But I really dislike how everybody is trying to come for Woe Vicky, talking about oh she's doing this for the check. Like you don't know what her intentions are. I feel like she was kind of like in my opinion, I feel like she was doing it the same reason that I wanted to do it to show people that you can be a baddie that loves God, that's about her business. Basically a proverb to one of them. The the good there's always a good person in the show, you know? But I feel like people are trying to like come for her and make it seem like oh she's doing it for the clout, she's doing it for the clout, she's doing it for the platform and all these things. Well Vicky already had her own platform. She already had her own YouTube channel. She already has money. If you want to show the world of God in a bigger platform, why not? And I also really did not like Jesus loves y'all. She want to get slapped too? Oh, oh what's up? Hey. <laughs> oh. hey, oh. Yeah, Jesus loves y'all. And got her ass with for Christ, <laughs> for the blood. I did not like how Sky was just sitting there laughing at her, talking about, oh, for the blood. I felt like it gave real blasphemy. And that was like my third discernment when it came to watching the show. And with Woe Vicky, she may not, you know, know the whole entire Bible. She may not know every single thing, but she still has some balls to come up in there and tell people that she loves Jesus. And she did try her best to be an example. She's an example of a person that's trying, you know? I don't think she was trying to do it anything for her own gain. And it low-key breaks my heart that, you know, even the Christian community is out here trying to um bash her and stuff like that. At the end of the day, I do feel like you should always, you know... Keep in mind with, you know, what you hear and, you know, the music you listen to. When it comes to the entertainment business or anything of that sort, period, you have to have a strong sense of self and be rooted into God. Because if you go in, the minute you say Jesus' name, of course they're going to chew you up. Of course they're going to get mad. And I felt like that's exactly what they were doing to her. But I'm not even going to sit there and judge nobody. And I'm not even going to sit here and act like we can't judge. Because, yes, we can't judge. But at the end of the day, we have to judge in some type of way. No offense to the gay people. But I have to judge somebody that we, we want to our our, attach ourselves to. I can't be too close best friends with the person that is gay because we don't believe in the same things we're not equally yoked same thing when it comes to you know yoking with the believer i can't be too close with him because we're not equally yoked i have to judge you in that sense but at the same time i do believe that people like natalie or people in the entertainment industry that does not give them like they they can easily turn their life around you no know, with your presence and i also feel like there's two ty different types of christians out here and i want to be the living example of a christian that you know resembles jesus but a person that's trying i'm not trying to be fake or lukewarm because it's easy to put on a fake to be it's easy to put up a front that you're a christian all i gotta sit and do um is post everyday christian stuff but they be the main ones also in the parties they be the main ones and let me give you a, tea, a little bit of a backstory when it came to my christianity experience as well when it came growing up i grew up in a haitian you know christian church and at that church like it kind of like drew it, it like it would draw people away from god the way that those christians were being every single time there were the same the same christians that you know posting bible scripture every day be the same ones that be having the stankest attitude that want to fight me in church that sit up here trying to judge me for every single thing that i wear but they and then they see me at the club i'm not trying to be the one that's out here fronting i'm not gonna sit here and act fake and say I'm never going to go to the club again. As a Christian, we are always growing, all right? F comparing myself from this year to last year, God showed me that I'm not supposed to be going in the club like that. He gave me that discernment already. For me as a person, I didn't think that nothing was wrong with that. And I still somewhat don't think nothing wrong with that. But since I had got a t tad bit discernment, I felt like, okay, I'm not going to go in as much but i'm not gonna sit here and lie and say i'll never go to a christian again meanwhile i see you miss holy holy posting not posting scriptures every day at the club too i'm not gonna sit here and act fake and at the end of the day i'm not gonna sit down here and try to knock christians you know all the way out because 
I'm a Christian myself and I'm a follower of Jesus Christ and I experienced for myself and nobody can't tell me that he's not real. Um, certain things that things that is said in the Bible is 100% true when it comes to, you know, you have to just be okay. Be careful with what you hear and be careful with what you speak because when it comes to um, certain things, it can influence you. And at first, I was not a person that was like, uh, I was a person that was like, no, I can't. Um, my, all, everybody I know is having sex and I like listening to City Girls. I like listening to Beyonce and Rihanna and they all talk about sex, but I'm not here effing everybody. But in a way, you have to be able to, you know, be rooted into God. I feel like to, you know, not let that noise sway you. Because I can't even lie, it was one time I went a uh, week straight watching i'm a binge watcher i was watching baddies and i did wanted to um i was fake fighting in the shower y'all <laughs> i was fake fighting people i don't like in the mother freaking shower when i'm supposed to be forgiven so i'm just like uh-uh this is exactly how you know certain this is what they be talking about so, and you also have to be aware you know of the things that you listen to like listening to certain things not all I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest i can't listen to gospel music 24 7. i feel like when i'm listening to gospel music inside the gym i just want to sit there and cry i need something that's gonna you know pump me up and i don't i don't think all you know pump music is bad certain things you do want to keep a, a gate on i'm gonna put on some lashes when i'm listening to people like you know et or sarah jake roberts or um just transformation church i feel like the holy spirit you know moving and you know getting discernment and all of these things and even when it came to my sister in this video she was talking about how when she was you know doing kanye west show and stuff like that she felt like she had discernment she felt like demonic spirits like it was it just wasn't right it was a bad feeling All in all, I know I was all over the place with this video. This is just something that kind of like, kind of like, I thought of it today, decided to do it today. So it came straight from God and straight up out the heart. Um, my whole moral of the story is God gave us free will, right? It does not mean we can do anything that we want, but you want to be able to invite God to everything that you decide to do and, you know, pray for the Holy Spirit and discernment um, to see if, if that's what God wants you to do. I do feel like we should not be judging anybody when it comes to either parties, but I do believe we should just, you know, pray for each of them. And if you're a, fault, if you're a person that doesn't believe in Jesus Christ, I think you should just, you know, give him a shot and see because who am i to say if you were born into a different religion just to come to my religion i feel like you you know you should try experiencing him for yourself i'm not trying to force anything on nobody i just want you know to be able to give give him let give him a try and see what he could do for your life all right but i do want to say thank you guys so much for watching i love you please do not forget to click the like comment and subscribe and check out my previous similar videos like these um it's also going to be down below thank you so much for watching i love y'all i'll see you in my next video bye